One thing I was kind of curious about, since it's a USB microphone, I wondered, is it possible to use it on a phone? Hello folks, and welcome to NetCruiser Tech. Today we've got a new product in the mail from Fifine. Now they say their brand name is pronounced Fine Fine, but I don't think there's quite enough letters for that. But anyway, Chinese to English translations, not always the easiest. Fifine technology, Fine Fine. This is the model K. 699B and it's a USB cardioid condenser style microphone and ideally it's designed for use for studio recordings. Available in the two colors. Uh, I got the black one here and it comes with a little tripod and a stand and it looks to be a very high quality microphone. Uh, you get an instruction manual with it. You don't necessarily need any drivers for microphones but it shows you how to set up your software for uh, ideal audio recording. Dear all, thank you for being a valued customer. Go to, go to the website, go to Facebook if you need assistance. This product has a two year warranty and write us a product review and let us know uh, what you want us to keep or change. Here's the company information and we'll get right into it. So I did take a quick peek at this, but I haven't really used it yet. It, it feels quite nice, quite heavy. Um, it's got a good weight to it. It is a metal, it is a metal body. You do get a mic gain adjustment. This completely swivels 360 degrees so that when you do want to put it on your tripod mount, uh, it allows you some flexibility there. It does come with the tripod mount. Yeah, so that's, uh, comes with this little mini tripod. It's not a quarter inch tripod jack. This is something unique that they made. Um, I don't know if that's audio recording style standard or not, but for now, we're just gonna use the stand that it came with. You can probably get a boom mic for these. Maybe it is a standard microphone style thread. I'm not familiar enough with audio equipment to know that. This is a USB microphone, so it uses USB, and this is a USB 2.0 plug. Not that you would need 3.0 or anything higher bandwidth for audio recording, but just so you know. I will put links in the description. This is available on Amazon, uh, .com, .uk, Canada. It's available on the mall. And the pricing for this currently sits at around $30 US, which could be an extremely good value. Now, you would want to use this in a studio environment. Plug this end into your computer and studio style audio for this for doing voiceovers, for things like when you're when you're recording over a screen, sometimes I do screen recordings and I just want to sit here and this is how I do it. I start a screen recording and then I would talk into a microphone. Up until now, what I've been doing for mics when doing my screen recordings is using this setup. This is a rock band microphone. I don't know if you remember uh, rock band when it was popular, but the rock band microphone was USB made by Logitech. And if you plug it into a computer, it picks it up as a USB microphone. So I picked up a little cheap, like $5 stand for it, put on a pop filter, and that's what I've been using up until now. It does not get great audio. I have to be talking within about this type of a distance to get nice good audio with it. And even then it's still not great. I haven't really been satisfied with the audio out of this mic, but I'm gonna do some back-to-back -back comparisons. Wanna see, is it any better or worse than this new style microphone? Now these type of microphones are usually omnidirectional type pickup pattern. This one is cardioid. So that means that anything that's behind it will not be getting picked up for sound. It's only what's in front of it. It's uh, it's a cardioid style pattern. And the unique thing about this one is it does have a gain so you can turn it up and turn it down. It does not have any headphone monitoring on it so it's up to you to watch your your gain levels in your software and your recording and make sure it's not peaking. Plug it into a computer and we will get some uh, get some audio because really that's all you need to know about a microphone. Is it going to stand up? How does it work for accessories? How does it plug in? And what's it sound like? Most importantly What's it sound like? We're gonna do back-to-back -back comparisons of these two. Okay, testing, testing, one, two, three. This is using the Logitech USB microphone from Rock Band with a pop filter. The reason why you like pop filters is for the P's, for PPP. You don't want it to pop in the microphone. That's the reason why you want a pop filter. Now, the other microphone that I have does not have a pop filter, so we have to wait and see how does that work. Anyway, here's a quick test of the Logitech USB Rock Band microphone.
What you want to be looking for is your gain level. So I'm pretty far away from the microphone right now. I would not be talking this far away, but you want to make sure that you're on the correct microphone. So it's on the Logitech USB and you have no type of gain adjustment. If I back away even ever so slightly, you can see it's barely picking up that audio. Okay, screen recording has started with the FineFine Fine K699B. So this is using this new USB cardioid microphone by FineFine, Fine, and I want to see how is the quality compared to the Logitech Rock Band microphone. Testing, testing, one, two, three. Testing, testing, one, two, three. This is farther away than I would be from the Rock Band microphone. Previously, I would be talking in the Rock Band microphone about this close, which is probably peaking these levels. Uh, this has no pop filter, so the P's are likely a little bit harsher than without the pops, but we'll see. Um, there is a mesh in front of it, so maybe it has its own built-in filtering. I don't necessarily know. I'm not that much of an audiophile to be able to tell. The gain is at half right now. I'm going to just sit back a bit. If I turn the gain up on the fly, I want to see if it adds any static. Gain is currently maxed. That's max volume. And I'm just slowly dialing it back down, back down, back to mid-level. And now dialing it down, dialing it down, dialing it down to nothing. And now back up to medium level again. So can you adjust mic gain on the fly without introducing static? Well, curious to try on that. Other than that, that's this new studio microphone. I'm curious to see what the quality is like. Now I'm going to plug in the Fine Fine K699B. So just plugging it into USB and you want to make sure that it's picked up the microphone. This one it just picks it up as a USB plug and play microphone, but immediately look at how much higher the gain level is while I'm this far away from the microphone. With the other one, I would have to be up this close. Literally, I was talking this close into it. I was my face was like right up to the pop filter in order to get those kind of levels. Ergonomically, I don't want that. So I'm curious to see if I tilt this up more towards my face, I've got my gain level set at around about half gain. And by looking at the meter here, it looks like I could go up even a little bit more. Actually, that's pretty good because I'm likely going to be focused and talking more directly into the mic. And that seems like a very good mic level for this type of a distance away from the microphone. That seems perfectly comfortable. I can look at the screen. I can be talking about what I'm talking about and I'm getting very good audio levels. All right, so I'll say I'm very impressed with that. Just watching it back, what I recorded, it sounds excellent. So this is far superior to what I had before with that little rock band microphone. Um, you know, I'm gonna be retiring that one and certainly be using this from now on on my voiceovers. The one thing I was kind of curious about, since it's a USB microphone, I wondered, is it possible to use it on a phone? If I adapt this to something compatible to an iPhone, will it work? So let's try that now. I do have some accessories that might make that possible. This is a lightning to dock adapter and I have an old dock to USB adapter. So this is from 30 pin days from before they went to lightning, but this should be fully compatible. So I'm gonna plug the microphone in. This, this USB adapter was designed for cameras. Um, it, this is likely an iOS limitation, so we're going to try this, but then we'll try it on, um, yeah. Oh, unlock iPhone to use accessories. That is actually working. I can see it adjusting here on the fly. So you can use this on mobile devices. If you have enough adapters to plug it into your phone, you can use this USB studio microphone on your phone. That is pretty darn cool. Yeah, so I'm playing this back now through my phone. It absolutely was using this studio mic on my phone so you can use it for desktop or for mobile all right guys so i'd say that's a huge thumbs up for this thing the uh for the price of it for around 30 dollars us uh under 50 dollars canadian certainly it is well worth it for the quality and the versatility of being able to use it on desktops or on mobile devices this would also work on android as well all you'd have to do is convert this from a big USB to a micro USB or to USB-C. That's all you would need to do. Uh, any simple conversion cable will allow you to use it on mobile. So that is very, very good. I've been pretty happy with the quality of this. I, I would say that it is well worth it. Certainly for a studio environment, it would be great for gaming, anyone who's Twitch streaming, anyone who's doing voiceovers or anyone who's doing any kind of video editing and wants to add their voice. It certainly sounds way better than using the internal microphone in your computer uh, as well as any other cheap uh, microphone that you might have. So certainly take a look. I'll put links in the description. I am impressed. Fine Fine K669B. I was saying it incorrectly before. It's not 699B. It's 669B. Yeah. 
Anyway, you can see in here when the light hits it properly, that's the little cardioid um, condenser style microphone pickup. And there you go. All right, guys, if you enjoyed this, hit that like button. If you're new around here, subscribe. If you want to talk to me, leave a comment down below. And as always, thanks for watching.